after Nasty Day like today, you need to find a powerful, long-term organic growth theme that will keep working and sink your teeth into it. Which brings me to Alliance Data Systems, ADS, the largest provider of transaction-based marketing and customer loyalty solutions. In short, other companies outsource their loyalty programs and data-driven marketing campaigns to Alliance Data. And when you consider how loyalty cards and direct marketing promotions have become staples of all things retail, how, then you can see how ADS is riding a terrific secular growth trend. Lions State reported a robust quarter last month. Strength across the board, raised guidance. This was the first quarter since the company's $2.3 billion acquisition of Conversant, a leader in personalized digital marketing. I think it's looking like the deal's already paying off. Now, ever since we spoke to the CEO last June, the stock has given us a nearly 14% gain, which is much better than the 9% return you get from the S&P. So let's take a closer look with Ed Heffernees, the president and CEO of Alliance Data Systems, find out more about his company where it is headed. Mr. Heffernan, welcome back to Mad Money. Great. Good to see you, sir. Hey, Jim. I don't know if people understand how big you are. You have 37 million households you touch. That's got to be the most of, of almost any company I deal with. Yeah, we're probably, uh, we've been referred to as the largest company no one's ever heard of. So okay. it's, uh, <laughs> that's probably a good thing. That's our job is to right, sort of Right, but you don't want to be. I mean, the goal yeah. is if you're, like, well, I'm a big Walgreens customer, okay? Yep. I, until I read the notes, you're Walgreens. Right. So if you were to look at most of the very, very large loyalty programs out there, to your point, uh, whether it's Hilton Honors, Citibank Thank You, Walgreens, et cetera, et cetera, or in the card side, the Victoria's Secrets or the Pottery Barns of the world, we're sort of the guts behind all that right. stuff. We're collecting the information and using that to help drive uh, incremental sales and engender loyalty for uh, the client. Now, in some cases, there are stores that seem to want to know more about me and do more with it. Uh, are you able to offer a suite and some guys just want to be aggressive and other guys just say thanks, but we're not going to apply it? Yeah, it really comes down to what the client wants. If, if you really want to really make use of the tools and assets that we have, the deeper you go, the more effective it is. So, for example, we're, our our sort of, I guess, sweet spot is the extraction of what we call skew level information, right. which Top is right. down to really, you know, she bought the dress, it was a blue dress, it was this size, it, it cost this much. And if you can get that type of information, it, then you can reach out across multiple channels to reach her uh, with an appropriate message. Now, I think it's really important because you talk a lot in your uh, in, in all of your, your work about targeted versus traditional marketing, you are now, with this most recent acquisition, the king of targeted, targeted marketing. Tell people how that's different from just traditional. Sure. Uh, if you look at uh, the $400 billion or so that's spent uh, in, in marketing and advertising in North America, 20 years ago, uh, the vast, vast bulk of it was spent on general brand advertising, right. which is a TV commercial or something like that. And that worked great, right? In those right. days when you had, you know, three channels on TV and a little bunny rabbit ears and everything else. And, you know, things have changed. And right. so what you have is this massive fragmentation of the consumer base. In other words, it's a lot harder to find big groups of folks uh, all watching the same thing. So what we do is we go out there and say, okay, uh, there's a certain type of person that a CNBC wants to attract. So let's figure out who that person is. Let's get some information about what makes them tick. Let's do something that gets them excited about coming to the website or, or, or watching the show um, on the TV itself. And that's what we do. We, we look for these micro segments and then it's a very effective marketing tool if we can use data to gain insights into who these people are and then reach out to them through the right channel. It could be a direct mail piece. It could be all digital. It could be at the point of sale. It doesn't matter. But to get them excited. Right. I saw you in social media. I mean, five years ago, you wouldn't view social media. It seems like it's an integral now. Yeah. I mean, again, if you look at uh, where the digital world has come from a thousand years ago, you know, just the concept of collecting inventories of sites that can be offered to advertisers was considered cutting edge, which is what Conversant does. Now that's considered sort of something that can be automated. So you need to continue to evolve and figure out that if I'm going to reach Jim, maybe permission-based email isn't the right channel. Maybe it's social. Maybe it's on his mobile device, maybe on the tablet device or on the desktop. So we need to be very careful because you don't want to overwhelm people or it won't work. 
Now, uh, at speaking right at the register, I know you guys do, uh, you're, you can do mobile and it's the app. You'll download the app. That's you guys. But we had a fellow by the name of Brian Billings Leon. He's from Alliance Data. He's working at this private company called Klarna, which is a disruptive company. And they're all also offering kind of like instant credit at the, you know, they kind of know a lot about you. And we meet these guys from a firm and lending club. Is this something that you have to get into where you're checking to see whether a guy can uh, pay immediately because from an algorithm? Or is that just something you should let the other guys handle? Yeah, I mean, what we try to do is to make sure that the, the shopping experience itself, more and more of the folks who are actually um, acquiring a private label card, for example. We run a lot of those programs mm -hmm. for the specialty retailers that they have the opportunity to apply for their card as they're shopping and not at okay. the point of sale. So right. exactly to your point, right, there's a QR code on the wall, you whack it, you put in four pieces of info, kind of interesting, you get scored, you get your credit amount approved and you get a virtual card on your phone as a, and then you go up and pay with that at, at the register. And right. What we're finding is people are more comfortable doing it while they're shopping. Okay, uh, last question. You have a big European business. I know you're buying back stock to offset the currency, which is great. Currency was bad for Europe, uh, for strong dollar today. But it seems like Europe's got very strong for you. Yeah, what's, uh, it, it's interesting. It's always nice to be lucky sometimes and, and, and buy at the right time. Right. But, um, yeah, the business over there called Brand Loyalty does a lot of the things that we do here, and that is uh, primarily in the grocery space in the various European countries as well as what we would call, you know, the old uh, East Bloc and into Ukraine right. and Russia. A um, lot of those areas are just beginning to get excited about the whole loyalty and data and marketing. And you're there for that. And we're there for that. Well, I'll tell you, it is. Better be lucky than good. I mean, you got the right time. You didn't have to go through the big depression. And your numbers are very strong over here. Congratulations. That's Ed Heffernan, the president and CEO of Alliance Data Systems. ADS, this has just been a winning stock forever, guys. You need to look at stocks like this because you may not, may not be evident to the naked eye, but they're there behind many of the purchases you make. Thank you, Ed. Great. Thanks, Jim. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.